Okay, here's a quick video of how everything's going to work in here. We've got the gas valve switches here, the pump switches, all of the valve switches, all ten valves, and you can see that they're not wired up yet. We have a computer power supply that is doing uh, 5 volts, 12 volts and ground uh, DC to these three terminals over here and you can see the powers coming in over here just a switch on the front turn everything on and we've got our AC voltage uh, for hot neutral and ground and then we have a uh, standard household outlet that's going to provide the connection for the pumps turn them on and off we've got our 24 volt AC transformer that's going to take the 120 volt AC bring it down to 24 volt AC to power the gas valves and you can see both the 120 AC and the 24 AC are going in and you can see I've wired up the uh, out over to here uh, for the 24 volt uh, so I still have to do the 120 volt get the signal coming in uh, to trigger these with our solid state relays uh, the signal coming from the main controller board over to here to these transistors and the transistors are triggering 12 volts to head over to all of these valve connections so our solenoid valves will connect to here the gas valves to these two and the power going in and everything connects to this main hub board and you've got uh, four sensor inputs three or four volume and the other one is for temperature all the temperatures are able to chain together and a 5 volt connection you can see hanging out there that still needs to be wired up and everything is going to feed into this 26 pin input right here and from there we'll be able to send 5 volts on particular pins and trigger any one of these valves uh, any one of the pumps or uh, either of the burners from the switches directly or from a microcontroller and that is the current build of the system so as soon as we wire the switches to this 26 pin header uh, we should be able to flip a switch and uh, the valves should open and the burner should light and everything should happen and work so hopefully uh, over the next couple of days we'll be able to test all this out and uh, see how well it works on the actual system.